like this so far north. All communications are down. But the Capisi's hull is holding fast. At this time, we are operating at partial capacity. Key systems still need to be brought online. Our initial satellite data identified the location of the primary anomaly, along with dozens of secondary targets. We will take a northern route, skirting the Baladin Formation. Doing this, we will avoid Gaussian territory and the worst of the deep desert heat. We will then cut south to the primary anomaly, the main goal of our expedition. As Chief Science Officer, Rachel Sajet will sample, analyze, and provide intelligence on these objects as we move deeper into the desert. The carrier Sakala has confirmed they are moving east with significant force and are expected to meet us at these coordinates. East of Cape Wrath, a place known as Hell's Gate. Hello and welcome back to Deserts of Karak. Here we are at Hell's Gate looking to meet up with another carrier who apparently has a good force of soldiers. I would love to see that. That'd be nice. But, you know, we'll do what we I can as is. Mm-hmm. It's an emergency transponder beacon. Could be the Sakala. Is it? Push ahead and search for the Sakala. Ooh, we've got pretty bad sensor distortion. Alert. Sandstorm conditions in effect. Ready. That's not great. Gaussian combat patrols may be in the area. We're clear to as we Duly push noted. Forward. Keep your eyes open. Carrot Engineering reports the Capisi's primary shunting systems are now online. Here's a reading. Huh? Power may now be shunted to weapons, armor, repairs, and long-range targeting systems. Oh, nice. Hostile Double light run. attack vehicle oh. visually authenticated. Reading. We got something on the horizon. Waiting for so. to authenticate. Oh. I'm having trouble locking on to enemy units. We have a few ships that we need to uh, take down first, but um, one thing that we were just given was the ability to put power into different sections of our ship to increase its effectiveness in different areas. And we'll do that just as soon as we can actually take these guys down, which will of course require putting down quite a bit of smoke screen so that they can't target our larger vehicles. Nice, looks like we got this well and under control. So here, down here, we have four different sections. Armor, repair, turret, and ranged systems network that all allow us to, we can take our power down here and put it into these different systems and use them against the opponents. What did you say? Recommend commencing resource operations. We have insufficient CUs. I see. Sensor visibility is obscuring the location of the signal beacon. Space. Confirmed. Duly noted. Runner copies. Science officer. Okay, we'll bring up our repair vessels and start healing up our fleet. Um, looks like attacks are going to come down through here, or up through here. So we need to position our fleet on the other side of this. Online. batch of resources here move the Capisi as far forward as we can and start on the resourcing operations there let's do this come on yeah meteorites sure Noted. Okay. So we can now build armored assault vehicles once we actually get the upgrades for it. Which will require getting some actual resources out here. Which we don't have right now because our harvesters are just trying their best to come through this previous war zone and actually start harvesting things. Quite unfortunate for them. Fleet group one assigned. Okay. So we've now got two groups of light assault vehicles um, and one group of armored assault vehicles. I think we should leave our less experienced group of assault vehicles back to defend this position. And we'll go see what we can find as we push out 
with our other two groups. Fleet group four assigned. Armor on because most four likely, it looks like. Vehicles are designed to suppress smaller, lighter craft. Oh yeah. However, range munitions can still pierce their hulls. Oh, I'm well aware of that. Light assault vehicles can evade ranged fire. Employ them against long-range units. Mm -hmm. So I think the only way that they can attack us is by coming in here. So so long as we have this strong force pushing out first, we'll Strike pretty much ready. not need this secondary set. defensive force. But we should Copy. keep it regardless, right just in case. Be advised. You never know. Site has been exhausted of resources. Right. These destroyed units are coalition vehicles. Weathering indicates they've been exposed to the desert for years. We're moving up. Intel, be advised. The beacon signal is getting stronger. We must be getting closer. Is it? Ready. Destination set. Strike confirmed. What do we got? I've managed to get a bead on the transponder beacon and have narrowed its location to this area. There's still no way to know if it's the Sakala. Yeah, that's not a good thing. I mean, I wouldn't put it past the Galaxian to use Radio. some sort of like Form up with an escort and ambush the here. Of the coalition signal. Proceed with caution. There. Copy that intel. We'll prep our equipment as we go. Oh mate, I'm definitely proceeding with caution. Come on now. Okay, we got some resources out here. We're gonna pull the PC all the way up into this central area so that it can provide fire support for our ships if we do need to hold this position. Looks like we got a dune entering into the area where the um, the Sakala is supposed to be positioned. Oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. It's an abandoned coalition carrier. Is it the Sakala, though? It's been here for a while. Okay, probably not the Sakala then. That's good. My team and I are heading inside. Delay salvage operations until we complete a search of the vessel. Copy that. Duly noted. Okay. Rachel's team has begun to investigate the derelict carrier. Hmm. We're exposed as long as we hold position here. A defensive perimeter must be established in order to protect Rachel and her team. That we will do. So okay. The so if that's the case... The oh, we can't pull the Capisi over there because the Capisi can't get over the you dunes. Clear to approach the derelict. Ready for assignment. Got it. To proceed. Move. So what we're going to need to do is... We should be pretty strong on this side just with the Capisi. I found an ID number inside the ship. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Running it through the computer. Stand by. Please don't say it's a Sakala. I want to see the strong force of the Sakala. You're aboard the Sajet carrier Ifrit Nabal. Oh, that's good. Part of the coalition's lost expedition. Nabal? Ooh. This is my brother's ship. Oh, your brother's dead, mate. Sorry to have to be that guy. Continuing search until. We'll keep you advised. Throwing down smoke screen, on coming in. Armored assault vehicle fabrication All vehicles, online. engage, Take engage, fire. engage. Do not let Rachel Sajet fall. Come on now. Support. Get that repair vehicle up there. Strike craft destroyed. What do we have? Okay. The Gelsian are using hit and run tactics. Confirmed. Move focusing on their lighter units should cause their slower, Oop. heavier units to retreat. Ring on friend, get designated target. Noted. Reading. Gun on! Steady fire! Okay, we're pushing forward with one of our groups here. Full speed! We're gonna chase down their heavy rail guns. And we're just gonna use the smoke screen to keep them from firing on us while we take Enemy down the smaller ships. Oh, we only have one team of smoke screen right now. Ready! Cleared for move. Ready. Crews are ready. Okay, Moving we're gonna out. pull the support frigate up to do some Go for support maneuvers. A group of sand skimmers is targeting the Capisi's position. Shunt power to armor and repairs. Oh, Send I see. To support the Capisi. Punch it. We gotta go. Well, we're gonna keep weapons fully down. powered here. The Capisi should be pretty good at yeah, defending itself. There's extensive interior damage. I'm detecting a unique mm -hmm. signature coming from inside one of the bulkheads. Oh, that's that's this both a good thing and a bad thing, support. mate. Beginning bulkhead deconstruction. I see. Armored assault online. 
Okay, looks gunner. like we're out of our use. I'm gonna throw down some smoke screens and then engage. Our ships seem to be a lot better at close range combat than they are at long range combat at this point. More Galtian reinforcements are inbound. Return to the Capisi immediately. On target! Negative intel. Oh, yeah? We found a piece of unidentified technology grafted into the carrier sensor array. Keep us covered while we extract this artifact from the bulkhead. Ah, uh, you're pulling out unidentified technology. Like that ever ends up well. Understood. Give us five minutes. That should be enough time. Okay. Five minutes? Dude, that's quite a bit of time, you know. You say that as though, like, five minutes is nothing. Five minutes is quite a while. Oh, my word. Got him. Okay. Th that attacking force has been destroyed. We've got a few more armored assault vehicles that we can bring into group three. Looks like we're under attack again. They are relentless, aren't they? Any further attacks? Not seeing a ton. Attack there, okay. We're gonna want to put it into missiles at this point because they're the longer range weapon. And we're sending one group of the uh, light assault vehicles over here to assist in the defense. Carrier hull passing 75%. Weapon range systems offline. Oh man. We're not doing too well here, are we? Take him down, mates. Take him down. Oh, uh, you know, we could have this entire time just moved the Capisi over to start firing on it, couldn't we? Didn't really think about that, did I? No, not really. Rachel. Proximity warning in effect. Hostiles designated. Hostiles where? I don't see any hostiles. Come on now. We're sending our support craft over to try to repair the PC a bit. Enemy. Okay. I know what they're doing. I think I can merge it with our systems and greatly enhance our sensor capabilities. Take him down. Take him down. Leave fire. none alive. The Galcian shall suffer a terrible fate. I'm well aware that Rachel is within contact. Come on now. Go for order. I'm no fool, Punch mate. What's your status? Throw down smoke screens. Roger that. Punch it. We gotta go. Okay. We're going there. Taking that down. Okay, the Capisi is being repaired. That's good. It'll mean we pretty much can't repair our combat vehicles at this point, but we should be okay with that. That's not the end of the world. Our combat vehicles don't need it all that much. Push up to that point. Hostile range craft Nice. Oh, there's a Galcian attack group down here. Oh, that's not good. Destination set. Ready. We're pulling Um no, we'll leave two up here. We'll do one and three are coming down here. One is a group of light assault vehicles, three is the um Ass armored assault vehicles. Oh yeah, they're coming in pretty quick here. Ready for assignment. Proceed to new coordinates. We must remain cautious. Receiving. Go go. Okay. We don't quite want to engage them just yet. Give me a smoke screen. We're gonna throw down smoke screen, force them to come in close range, even if they don't want to. And then we'll attack along here. Light attack vehicle is under fire. Ready. One get in there. Two are you fine? Two is fine. We're gonna leave him there just in case there's any um, Galcine units coming that way. But it looks like we pushed this attack group off pretty easily. Nice. Railguns down. Let's pull back. And that um, support carrier will continue. Oh, well, it doesn't have to continue repairing the BC. Okay. Nice. Stand by to power up the recovered artifact. Oh no. Initiating sensors modification now. Oh nice. Sensor efficiency has been greatly increased, and interference from the storm has been filtered out. 
Oh, look at all those resources Excellent. down there. Contact range increased. With our sensors now operational, we've detected a hostile cruiser supporting the enemy offensive. Hmm. Engage and destroy the enemy cruiser. Noted. Cruiser okay. Maintain so our position. support cruiser... Resources ...are scattered throughout the area. To collect them efficiently, we need support cruisers to oh. alongside our salvagers. Dude, I was about to tell the them that! ...fabrication facilities can now be upgraded to produce support cruisers. Ah. Uh. ready. I was about to tell you exactly what he said, that we can use support cruisers to increase harvesting efficiency. But he decided to be that guy and tell you instead. Fine. Fine, I don't get anything, do I? Okay. So we can't move the Capisi over to this sand dune. Rachel, Galsian units seem to be using some kind of shared network to communicate with each other. Online. We might hmm. be able to use that to our advantage if I can find a way to hack in. Yeah, that generally uh, is how shared networks work in the end. They get Open hacked. Roger that. Salvager ready. We're producing a few salvagers Salvager here online. just to increase CUs harvesting efficiency. And then ahead. we're going to work on... Hmm. Probably work on getting some of these Rachel, upgrades done. We've located abandoned coalition railguns, part of the Ifrit Nabal's fleet. They're damaged, but recoverable. Coalition railguns? We can use our support cruiser's repair beam to bring them back online. Here. Can we use can Rachel Sajet's gun. support Upgrade beam to do it? Railguns are nice, by the way. I've used them in the skirmishes, and they are Strike pretty the slick stuff. They are long-range artillery craft, and will Armor be copies. very important for, um, like, Carrier. more tactical combat the things I generally like to do with them is like put them on this ridge and have them firing way down range it's like those Galsian crafts that were firing at a super long range at, against us that's pretty much what they do Rachel here. Fleet group five assigned. and it's nice I like it okay support cruiser you, oh look there's a railgun right away. here Control group you will six be six designated. Hostile we'll have the support cruiser go grab it. Oh yeah, look at that. Strike trap, Take him down. Repair that railgun, come on. Rachel, come on. We've got another railgun that we need to fix up there. You're not getting away, assault ship. You're done. Especially with this railgun with us. <laughs> you stand no chance. Confirmed. There we go. Nice. Hostile armor eliminated. So we should have another rail gun down here. Ready for assignment. Maintenance protocols active. Fix that guy up. New heading set. Proceed to new coordinates. Control group four designated. Okay. So looks like we're gonna get about four rail guns at this point. That's pretty good. I like. I like that. That's nice. And our new site has been depleted. Oh. These resource sites don't seem to have very many resources in them. Kind of sad, quite frankly. I want all the resources, and they're not giving us very many. Quite unfortunate. So I'm thinking we need railgun fabrication immediately. And probably AAV ability recharge is going to be far more important than actually getting more units right now. Because we actually have a pretty decently sized force. It's actually really nice. So we really don't need that so much as we need, um, I guess, upgraded. Weapon. Can we go up here? Hold up. No. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. I, I really wanted to go up those dunes. That would have been brilliant. But unfortunately, no chance. Ready. Greeting you. Okay, time to roll. Okay, how are we doing? So we get these resources. We can push forward a little bit more. And pull up the entire resourcing operation to here. Where we'll grab these remaining resources and we should be able to strike that assault craft pretty easily. Sunder ability. Armor is fractured by high velocity. Target armor is reduced by 4 for 10 seconds. Huh. I think the smoke screen recharge is more important though. So we'll get that up. 
And in theory, we could pull the Capici around here to attack with the Capici. But I think coming around Armored here and monitor. leaving the Capici out of the combat is a safer option. Real so we're going to go with that one. New location How's the resourcing operation going? Okay. I mean, they need to move a bit faster than they are right now, but they'll get there eventually. So let's look at the terrain here. Hmm. So we can't set up on this dune, but we could potentially set up our rail guns in here to be firing out into this area. Keep our armored assault vehicles back here to throw down. Mm, we don't want to throw down smokescreen in front of our rail guns. Ready. So we'll have... I think we'll have rail guns come around this way and have the main attack force come around this way, throwing down smoke screens to get closer to the Galcian cruiser, and then attacking it with our light assault vehicles and armored vehicles simultaneously. That sounds like a plan to me. I love it. Here we go. We'll just bring this last railgun up online, and then we'll start setting up that attack. Let's roll okay, we'll move over here. On what? Alert. Red alert. Carrier Carrier taking fire. Taking oh, fire. the KPC will be fine against this. Get wrecked. Strike craft destroyed. Look at that. No chance. Enemy armor. You need a lot more than that Ready. to actually take Let's down roll. the KPC. Guarding strike craft. Okay. Acknowledged. Just when we were getting comfortable. So we are currently Just mounting ready. for that Press attack. Roger. Ordinance confirmed. So as you can see, we'll keep the rail guns back here. And we'll move them in first, and then pull this... No, we'll probably pull this attack in first. And then pull the rail guns up to support it. All systems so we'll move in here. Set. Confirmed. And then begin the attack here. Designated hostile. Displacing now. Strike craft ready. Here we go. Let's see what we can see. Authentication pending. Push up to that point. We'll slow down these guys a bit because they're getting ahead of themselves. Are protecting the cruiser from an elevated vantage point, increasing their effectiveness. Oh yeah. Destroying them before assaulting the cruiser should tip the engagement in our favor. Designated target. We're throwing down smoke screen here. Confirmed. Let's move. And moving in with these guys. The rail guns are going to come in on this side of the smoke screen and start opening fire. And the armored assault vehicles are going to come in as well. These guys are going to attack the rail guns. And our own rail guns are going to take down the assault ships. Nice. This worked out pretty well, didn't it? Wow. Wow. Okay, the railguns are going to target down the Galcian cruiser. And now we're going to attack there. We're going to bring in Sajet to do some repairs. But man, we crushed that force. They didn't stand a chance. Look at that. Ho oh, ho. Galcian support cruiser destroyed. Remaining enemy units falling back. Get wrecked. Enhanced sensors are picking up multiple enemy signatures at the extremity of our range. I've got two carrier class vessels in tow. Oh, that's not good. The Galcian have located us. We have no choice. We need to keep moving deeper into the open desert. Set course for the Serapi Basin. Once we arrive, we'll transmit the Sakala our coordinates. Engine oh, crews nice. stand by to engage maximum power. I mean, we can take down a cruiser. We can't take down multiple carriers. That's way too much. Well, we have succeeded in trouncing log. them Science at this point. Rachel Sajet, what do you have to say, Sajet? We found my brother's ship, the Afrika mm -hmm. Bell, the flagship of our coalition's lost expedition from four years ago. Ouch. His fate and that of its crew remains unknown. Pretty sure they're dead. What happened, Jacob? What did you find out here? What have they done to you? You're probably... They're probably dead, mate. I hate to be that guy, but most likely dead. So, incident report. We have found the Ifrit Nabal intact. No survivors. First officer logs mentioned secondary anomaly site. 
may hold answers, changing course to investigate. Looks like we're heading down here to this area for the next mission. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. Next time, we'll take on the Galcian once again. We seem to be actually quite efficient at taking them down, so I don't think it'll be too hard to trounce them next time, although we haven't really fought a full, strong Galcian force yet. That won't be the best. But, you know, we'll get through it, even if we do have to fight a strong Galcian force. So until next time, thanks for watching, and of course, enjoy the rest of your day.